If you want to learn the truth about sunscreen, this is the video for you. Hey everybody, it's Lisa, owner of Peaches Skincare. You can visit us at peachesskincare.com where you will learn about our skincare products that are healthy for your skin, for your body, and will create incredible change. I am the CEO of Peaches Skincare and I've also been a holistic master esthetician for almost 40 years, which means I use no pills, procedures, or needles to help you have incredible skin. In fact, in these videos, I wear no foundation and concealer, and you can trust that I practice what I pe preach. I practice what I preach. I have done nothing to my skin, and I'm not wearing foundation or concealer here. This is me, good or bad, on the day that I'm on this video. Uh, you can also visit our new uh, private Facebook group, Peaches Skincare. And it has been incredible. I say it in every video now, like-minded individuals who share their journey with peaches and with the routines that I've created. And the stories are pretty remarkable and pretty amazing. Uh, we're also on Instagram, TikTok, and you can personally email me for a routine at lisa at peachesskincare.com. Um, I'm having to say this at the beginning of videos now. If you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. Um, you can absolutely share your opinion with kindness and love, but otherwise, if I'm not for you, if I take too long to get to the subject or um, I look old or you have something negative to say, my skin's too dark, literally, please move on. This is not the place for you. Um, these are women and men that are filled with love and joy and just want help with their skin to feel confident again. And some of them are really hurting and struggling and we need to keep this message positive. So sunscreen. I have done so many videos on this and I have also tried to be parts of conversations on other videos about sunscreen only to be told you don't know what you're talking about. There's chemicals don't enter the bloodstream. You know, water's a chemical, so many different things. And so whenever a new study comes out or a new article, I always like to try to be um, as, as forthright as I can, but share as much of the new information that we're getting. So I have been given an article in a, um, from The Guardian and from Scripps. And I went over Scripps a few weeks ago and both talked about chemicals and sunscreens and how they are absolutely being shown. Ken says I use absolutely a lot, but it is it. That's an absolutely exclamation point shown to be hormone disruptors. Um, some have cancer causing ingredients and they are getting into the bloodstream. And they know that from fetuses of both animals and humans. So many people will say to me, well, why do they allow it on the shelves? Um, and it's the same with hair color now and hair straighteners, not to frighten you. Um, the darker the hair color, the more chance of cancers you have, or it being a hormone disruptor or getting into your body for the, you know, for however long they put it on your scalp. In fact, digressing, a girlfriend and I were talking this weekend. We both have gone gray. She is a beautiful white. I am still after almost eight years, just kind of have streaks, but that's okay. I wish I was white. And we both used to do very dark because our hair was dark. Well, we were having to do it every three weeks. So imagine that hair color being on our hair every three weeks. Chemical straighteners are even on the hair longer and are being linked to uterine cancer. And these are true things. These are not just maybe linked, but linked to uterine cancer, um, some breast cancer, both for hair color, hair straighteners and um, autoimmune diseases. So then we go into sunscreens and we're finding out the same thing. So why do they allow it on the market? The FDA can tell you to recall a product, but they cannot insist on it. Uh, they trust companies, um, you can trust mine, to test their products, to be sure of what they're using. And they hope that they will do that, but because it costs money, because some uh, companies are afraid that an ingredient they're using will not be authorized, they don't do it. So sunscreens are coming under a lot of scrutiny. And I've said it before, if you've been here before, that during um, the lockdown, millions were pulled from the shelves for cancer-causing ingredients. Well, now just in the past few months of this year, more were being pulled. 
avabenzones, um, oxy, uh, I want to make sure uh, oxybenzones, I want to make sure I tell you the chemicals, um, have been linked to reproductive issues. So I want to be sure that you all understand that when you're putting foundation on your skin, and I think it's the same thing, there are chemicals in foundation. When you're putting concealers, when you're putting sunscreens, when you're putting um, products that are just, you know, clean beauty is a marketing term. I am on three different clean lists that I never mention because I don't really believe in them. They don't account for how much of an ingredient is used or where it is sourced. And you can trust with my skincare products that they're sourced from natural ingredients. In fact, I always inevitably get someone who comes on and, you know, I, I honor it. You know, they, they act like they're a chemist and they tell me what's in my products or this is bad or whatever, but they don't understand that it can be less than 1% of a um, preservative that we have to use so bacteria and fungus doesn't grow but it doesn't affect your body in any way because it's such a giant bat. Um, I always say it's like putting alcohol in food when you're cooking and it dissipates. It's really the only analogy I can use. So I took a lot of notes because I really wanted to be sure that I gave you the exact information. Um, for, so back to sunscreens, we know that it can harm the reefs. We know it can harm coral reefs and marine life. Hawaii, was the first to um, uh, ban chemical sunscreens. And I love Hawaii anyway, if you're a peach, you know that. And many times I will buy my sunscreens there because I really trust them and I trust what I'm purchasing. But really it is about reading your ingredients. It would be under active ingredients. And the only ingredients that they are recommending in every study they're showing is zinc oxide, or zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. Uh, I'll tell you my favorites right now, and then I'll go through the list of things just that I want you to be mindful of. Malin and goats, I'm hoping John puts a picture here, my favorite sunscreen. It rubs in beautifully, it feels healthy. Um, I also love Dermatology Physical and Dermatology Daydream, and I have codes for both of those, Lisa20. You can send me a picture of a sunscreen, and many of you do, but unless I have tested it, unless I know the company, I'm not going to recommend it for the reasons I said above that or before, that many of these companies don't really tell all the ingredients for fear that their product will be pulled from the shelf, although they would be asked to pull it and then they may not have to follow through. So I really only recommend certain sunscreens and I don't recommend you wear them every day. I am not these people who tell you, wear your sunscreen every day, wear your sunscreen every day. I'm 58 years old. I'm not a 20 year old telling you to do that. And I'm not saying that in a rude way, but I always looked to the people older in my life to educate me, to tell me what their journey was like, what experience have they had, the way they eat, the way they exercise, the way they take care of their bodies. And I'm asking you to hear me I've seen it, I've taken care of hundreds and hundreds of thousands of clients. Skin cancer went up when they started telling us all to wear so many sunscreens. And women would wear it every day, apply it to their children, but they weren't using good products and these chemicals affected them. And I've had women have half their noses cut off. I've had men clients, the same thing. Uh, men, you'll notice it on your ears and your neck more because you will not wear a wide brimmed hat and you're only wearing a baseball cap. Women think they have to wear it in the house because they're told that. Unless you're sitting in front of the sun all day long, please know vitamin D is good for us. Filtered light is good for us. It's good for our emotions. And you don't need to have sunscreen on every day. And the fact is, peaches say it with me, if you're not wearing a wide brimmed hat, it simply does not matter. You have got to wear a wide brimmed hat outside. It takes about three to four minutes for your skin to burn. So I just wanna look at my notes. I wanna make sure I've told you everything. Um, we've talked about hair color, hormone sensitive. Can um, the cancers that they're, they're citing are uterine, bladder, breast, leukemia. Straighteners are absolutely linked to ovarian cancer with some hair dyes uh, doing the same. But bleaches and light colors are not having the same type of consistency, which is a good thing. Um, 
when you inhale some of these things. When I go to get my nails done, if someone's getting, and I only get a buff manicure and pedicure, and someone is getting nails done next to me, I ask to be moved or I put my shirt over my face. And I'm actually thinking of not going to the nail salons anymore. The fumes are so strong. And when I see someone pregnant doing it, I want to say something, but I know I'll get yelled at. The fumes from hair color, the fumes from chemicals are things we want to be mindful of inhaling. Um, as I said, the FDA does not approve all ingredients. And so many companies are afraid to really test their products or because they're afraid they will not be accepted under regulations. Uh, let's see, oxybenzone has been linked to reproductive issues. I went over that and let's see, the FDA, I found this really interesting and I knew this, but it was great that it was cited in um, the Guardian study. And then I went through other studies. You can go to um, cancer.org, um, scripts.org, but essentially the only two ingredients the FDA has ever approved are zinc oxide or zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. Uh, there's animal testing with sunscreen. It has to be animal tested. That was a huge thing for me. It really bothers me. Um, I'm actually going to check with the products that I recommend to see what their standards are. And uh, honestly, that's really all. You know, just knowing that chemicals are absorbed into the skin, this is a reality. It is something we need to be uh, very aware of as men and women. And I'm always going to try to teach you those things. So look at, if you're 15, throw away the foundation and concealer. If you're 30, throw away the foundation and concealer. 50, 60, 70, the sunscreen. Reach out to me, Lisa at PeachesSkinCare.com. Let me help you have skin you don't feel like you have to cover up. Let me help you to use things that are healthier for your body. And you know, if we're putting on a thousand things, maybe we can only put on 20 that we don't know about and at least have a healthier, more mindful life. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please speak with love and kindness below, and I hope that I've helped all of you to uncover your true confidence.